Hello boys and girls, welcome to Benchar Time for Classic and my objective today it is to try out no more heroes on the NVIDIA MX130 with 2GB GTDR5 which should be similar to a GT940 MX also with 2GB GTDR5 so this game it is developed by Grasshopper but it was ported over to the PC thanks to the engine software they were also responsible for porting to Nintendo Switch and these guys are using their in-house engine Keep Keep in mind that this game doesn't offer any graphical settings, no resolution settings, only until the easing setting and also full screen or not. So first let's jump to the results. So I decided to use FXAA for all my tests and as you can see 720p uh, it is what provides uh, the most stable frame rate with minimums of 46 and average of 60. Only 6% of the time the game was lower than 60 frames per second. 900p starts to drop. 20% lower than 60% and 1080p the majority of the time it is simply below 60 frames per second this game was conceived to be played at 60 so that's our aim so my recommendation and the settings that I did use to play with was 720p using FXAA so looking to the requirements these guys ask for the GTX 750 Ti which should be more powerful, 8 gigs of RAM and an i5 from the 4000 generation. So, since this game doesn't feature any option like uh, a resolution toggle for you to select your resolution, and you might be asking how the hell I changed resolution inside this game. So, basically what you need to do, it is to change the resolution of your laptop or you know the the desktop windows whatever so you need to go to windows and change your resolution before entering the game so that's what i have done to have uh, the game being rendered at 720p if you don't do that the game will run at 60 frames per second but every time you kill an enemy as you can see in here with this splash blood effect all over the place every time you do this the frame rate will drop significantly so that's why my suggestion it is to play at 720p because despite these drops still do appear at 720p the majority of them it don't it is the best uh, silky smooth experience that you can get it is by playing at 720p using fxaa all right so this game uh, was ported over to the PC like I told you thanks to engine software engine software decided to take a different approach basically what uh, did uh, happen with this port is that uh, the game was initially conceived for Nintendo Wii and it was an exclusive for Nintendo Wii later uh, down the line it was also released on the PS3 and the Xbox 360 thanks to a different studio shut up cat <laughs> thanks to shut up thanks to a different studio and basically they did improve brutally the visuals to be more in match with the consoles at that time instead of the Nintendo Wii but that's not really the version that we did got what we did got it is the Nintendo Wii version slightly improved to be next gen but essentially that is one stupid effect that destroys it all I mean we could play this game just fine if they didn't add this effect so basically what I'm trying to tell you is that the game is super lightweight and surely we could play it at 1080p 60 frames per second with FXA with no issues but every single time you kill one guy and you get this blood splash effect all over the place and can't even stress enough when you kill two or three it is even worse of course because it's much more particles all over the place this simple effect destroys entirely the frame rate and this is this effect that kills the performance for you nothing more nothing else and this effect was done differently on the Nintendo Wii. It was not this brutality of blood all over the place. But now with this uh, remaster, if we can call it like this, with this port, all right, for the Nintendo Switch and also to the PC, they decided to add this for some reason, which I don't understand. I think it's cool. It's fun. It reminds me uh, a little bit of that movie done by Huma Thurman. That I forgot the name. Um, but I mean, Kill Bill. 
that's it, Kill Bill. It reminds me of Kill Bill, that fight with the Asian girls that was blood all over the place. It reminds me a lot of that specific movie. And it is cool, but after the moment the game it is rendering at like 20% or 30% of the GPU and when this flash effect appears it jumps up to 75% or even more because of this stupid effect it is not worth it this effect it is costing more frames than rendering all the game together all right and this doesn't make any sense to me and it is destroying entirely with the frame rate this game could have much lower requirements if it wasn't for this simple effect and because of that i fully disapprove the way that it is being done All right. that's the only bad thing i have to tell about the performance it's the abuse of this effect all right so but putting this aside and giving you the performance as you can see 720p runs fine with fxaa and since the visuals of the game it is quite old 720p doesn't look bad at all it's not that kind of games where you put it at 720p and it looks super super strange and uh, super aliased and, uh, and focus and everything no that's not really the case because the game is old that is battery objects on screen this is just uh, some geometry and textures and that's about it all right so now that i talk about the performance and now that you know that you can play it at 720p fxaa Let's jump, on, let's jump in to talk a little bit more about the game, shall we? Alright, so no more heroes, it is, it is absolutely insane. I never played anything like this before and I'm glad they ported this over to the PC. So first of all, this is kind of an hack and slash game. So in order to attack the enemies, so the enemies if they are using a high stance you need to attack for make attacks below, if they are using a low stance you need to use higher attacks, so you need to take attention with that, you can use kicks and punches to try to knock out the opponent and you can perform charged attacks but that consumes the uh, battery of your swords, of course you can reroll the sword but that takes a little bit of time and that's pretty much like it and every time you execute an enemy as you see uh, there is three spins that turn inside the screen and when those three spins get into a combination depending on the combination that you get you get a, a power up for a limited time that ranges from enemies being in slow motion and you being fast uh, to stuff like uh, firing uh, fireballs or something like that to a point where you can kill all the enemies on screen if you are close to them by pressing some quick time events so basically it's it's like that but super fun it is not to be taken seriously i honestly i like the artistic feeling of the game the soundtrack it is silly the cutscenes are super silly and that's what I enjoy about the game. It is not to be taken serious, uh, seriously. There is also a kind of a small open world moment, but uh, I don't really think it is important. It just serves for you to travel your bike to the main objectives and to the mini games. Yes, mini games. This game contains tons of mini games like Yakuza. I'm not going to show them to, to spoil you, so just check reviewers uh, that did, that does show you uh, those mini games. But essentially, the game contains tons of mini games like Yakuza, and that is this uh, main story where your objective it is to conquer the number one rank of the fighters. So it, it feels a little bit like Need for Speed Most Wanted Blacklist, but instead of instead of being racing, it is kind of fighting. All right, that that's essentially that. But this thing, all the entire game, it is super silly. So the port to Switch and the original one from Nintendo Wii, it was ranked up on Metacritic with 83% of score. I really like the game, I just think it's it's very, very limited, this port to the PC. The fact that you can select resolution and all that other graphical options makes me want to give a worse score to it. But aside from that, and only focusing on the score, I think the 83, it is a deserved score. Also, the game price on Steam at the moment, it costs uh, 19.99, So it's a $20. It is pretty much the price of the Yakuza games when they were released, the old ones. So I think it's fine. I think it's awesome that we are receiving games that we didn't add before for $20. Despite the adult, I think it's it's a nice price. It's better than they are trying to selling, uh, for example, 
recently uh, the Shin Megami Tensei 3, which is an old game, and they sold us uh, the game for $50. I think it's insane. At least no more euros. It is doing the price thing uh, the same as Yakuza. $20, I think it's a good price for the game. So with this, I think I will just shut up myself in here and let you enjoy the gameplay. All right, so hope you can enjoy the rest of the gameplay and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Quite beautiful, wouldn't you say? Paid for with the lives of many. When you have the strength to take life for yourself, that is true wealth. I am free of desire. So long as I have this scenery to look upon, I need nothing more. Please leave me be. You're the one leaving. In a body bag. I'll only say this once more. Leave here now! Huh. <laughs> me leave? You obviously don't know me. You don't get it, do you? Hey, you know what paradise is, right? Paradise? This is paradise. The place where dreams are fulfilled. Well, you've had your dream, old man. Time to wake up! This is no paradise. All right. Then what is it? A place to die. Huh. I'm glad you and I are on the same page here. So naive. You have no idea, do you? What a pity. You make an old man cry. Arrogant, crude little shits like you come around from time to time. Listen well, young one. The wall is high, higher than you will ever know. Ultimate sacrifice is sublime. Now draw! Huh. You can take that to your grave!
extraordinary. The moment I've been waiting for. The name Holy Sword is now yours. You're joking, right? I don't care about titles or power. I just want to be number one. Then master the ways of the assassin. Here's your ticket to paradise, old man.